Okay, I have here a tube that contains a whiskey that I've been wanting to try for a while. It is the Epicurean. Now the Epicurean is a blend from Douglas Lang uh, consisting of uh, lowland malt whiskies. It even says on here, Lowland Blended Malt Scotch Whiskey. There's a fair bit of dust on the top of the tube, as it's been under my bar for almost a year. Well, it's been on the bar for some of that time, but it hasn't been opened yet. This is the first time I pulled the bottle out. And this has been in my possession since... Uh, over here, it says, uh, where's the time on that? It's, uh, here we go. November 10th, 2018. So it's the end of... Uh, October now, October 26th. So this has been, yeah, almost a year. It's uh, a little bit pale in color. I'm going to pour myself a glass and then I'm going to read what it says on the tube here and on the bottle probably says the same thing. That's what it, the bottle looks like. This is uh, bottled at 46.2% alcohol by volume and out the door it cost me $85 and 50, 15 cents so $85 15 cents out the door Canadian that is and if I like it then it's uh, then it's worth it it also says on here I believe non chill filtered small batch release so yeah, just let me see if I can get this this little tab open here. It seems to be ah, it's a stubborn little thing, but I think I got it now. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. There, the little foil top. Let's go with the uh, oh, nice, very righteous pop on that. And let's pour us a little bit. There's one, one drown. 50 mils approximately. Hmm. So, it says on the bottle here, Epicurean Lowland Blended Malt Scotch whiskey from Douglas Lang in a tipple of our small batch Epicurean you can bet on a nose that is barley rich, citric, floral, and herbal. The mouth coatingly sweet palate displays crunched sugar, burnt citrus, mixed spices, thyme, peaches and hard candy, all charmingly underpinned and enriched in the finish with more of that earlier herbal character in a gristy style with almonds, cut grass, and burnt sugar. Huh. Okay. I don't know about any of that. We'll find out when I taste it. What does it say here? Non-chill filtered, small batch release, a marriage of the finest malt whiskies from Scotland's lowland region, charmingly vibrant with bold notes of citrus, freshly cut grass, and sugar. Okay. What does it say on here? In 1930s, Glasgow City, there lived a man 
so stylish and witty, with a cheeky grin and a twinkling eye, his dram in hand was seldom dry. He'd tempt you with indulgent treasures, find food and drink, his undoubted pleasures. Exuding great knowledge and sophistication, our connoisseur deserved admiration. The life and soul of any party, we regaled those present with tales of so hardy. Okay. He regaled, not we regaled. I need a new prescription, maybe. Of wondrous banquets in foreign climes, of sumptuous food and drink sublime. Around the town he gained such fame that the Epicurean soon became his nickname. And not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance, said Epicurus. Okay. Distilled, matured, vatted, and bottled in Scotland. Okay, remarkable regional malts from Douglas Lang. All right. No, no. Now that we've spent six minutes on that, let's go on the nose. Ah. That is rather nice. <laughs> it's malty, it's sweet. It's floral, it's herbal. I'm getting butterscotch. Butterscotch. Mostly butterscotch. Mmm. Or burnt sugar. As they said in their description, burnt sugar. I'm getting a I get butterscotch. Butterscotch, burnt sugar. Vanilla. Yes, cut grass. <laughs> Toffee. I'm definitely a fan of Glen Kinchy and Akintoshin. So I'm pretty sure there's some Glen Kinchy and Akintoshin in here. Has to be how many lowland distilleries are there that that do a malt whiskey? Could there be some Bladnock in here? I don't know. I've never really tasted Bladnock on its own, so I don't know what it's like. But a healthy 46.2% alcohol by volume definitely wins my vote. And this is nice. Very nice. Herbal, yes. That burnt, burnt sugar note. Is very interesting. Toffee, caramel, burnt sugar. Bit of vanilla. So far, so good. Nice nose. See what it tastes like.
It's light in character, but strong in flavor. Oh, wow. Let's see what kind of legs we got. None to speak of, really. Or should we say... Yeah, try that again. Mm. Oh, there's a secondary. see them forming right there. Those secondary drops are forming and they are moving down slowly. Yeah, about medium. Not at all unpleasant, this Epicurean. It's got some caramel toffee notes. It's got some... I'm tasting a bit of popcorn in there, too. Which doesn't make any sense at all, but that's what I'm getting. Burnt sugar. Burnt sugar, caramel. Mm. Popcorn. And since it's bottled at a pretty high 46.2%, give it a bit of water and see what happens to it. I'm going to have a sip. There. Now that I've added a tiny little bit of water to this, I guess three standard drops, let's see what it does. I'm still getting burnt sugar and cut grass. It's more herbal and perfumey now that I've added the water to it. Yes. Very herbal and perfumey. Interesting. And let's see. Let's give it a taste with some water in there. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. I like it with a bit of water. It's refreshing. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got... There's no smoke to speak of. It's... Um, it's a lowland after all. Yep. Oh, 
lots of herbal notes and freshly cut grass. Burnt sugar. Delicious and light on the palate, but flavorful. It's, it's got a lot of flavor to it. There are light flavors, but they are strong. If that makes any sense. Most enjoyable. Slunch of Ah. Food Quig. Food Quig. Food Quig. Food Quig. Food Quig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>